community leaders and teachers. I hope you all are doing well, having a great day. Yeah, I'm excited. I get to bring to you this week's Leadership Minute. This is one challenge for you to have one more tool in your tool belt as a leader to lead more effectively and help other people know and encounter God's love in profound and powerful ways. This week, I actually want to bring you a question that, that I've had asked of me just recently. A good friend of mine asked it of me yesterday, and that's this, how's your soul? You know, as leaders, we oftentimes, we, we spend a lot of our time, a lot of our energy, a lot of our resources investing in other people and, and asking them that question, how's their soul, hoping that they'll grow. But, but very rarely do we take time to invest in ourselves and our souls and ask ourselves that very question. And so I want to challenge you, take a moment in the next couple of days and ask that question, how is your soul? Ask God to, to do some soul searching within you. You know, Paul writes in Colossians chapter 2, starting in verse 6, So then, just as you have received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live in Him, being rooted and built up in Him, and established in faith, just as you were taught, and overflowing with gratitude. The truth is, is that as we root ourselves in Christ, we can be more effective as leaders in leading other people to know, encounter, and experience God's love in profound and powerful ways. But that only begins as we ourselves go to the feet of Jesus. You know, I heard someone say years ago that you can only lead where you've been. And so I want to challenge you over the next few days. If, if you aren't rooted in God or if you, you feel like your soul is, is missing something, if you uh, feel dry, take some time over the next few days and, and reconnect with God. It is out of that rooting in God that you will be able to lead other people to experience God's love. I hope you have a great week in both in your community group and in, in just throughout this week as you experience God. Hey, God bless you.